I continue in this video explaining the matrix operations and in this case I'm going to explain how to make a matrix multiplication. To do that I will be starting with the special case when we have a row vector and a column vector multiplying. First we have a row vector and second we have a column vector. So we have something like this. Uh, this is a matrix that has only one row and we have another matrix that is only one column. If we have this case and both vectors have the same numbers of entries, for example in this case this vector has three entries, this uh, vector has three entries, so this is a row matrix, this is a column matrix and they have the same number of entries. The product can be done in this case and we can write that AB will be the product of the first entries of the first matrix multiplied by the first element of the second matrix plus the second element of the first matrix multiplied by the second element of the second matrix etc. So I'm going to open bracket and I'm going to multiply 2 times minus 3 the first times the first so 2 times this minus 3 plus and I'm going to add the product of the second the second element so the second element of the first matrix by the second element of the second of the second matrix so it will be plus 2 this element multiplied by this a plus the third element of the first matrix multiplied by the third element of the second matrix so plus negative 3 that multiply 2 so we multiply entry by entry but the condition is that the first matrix must be a row matrix and the second must be a column matrix the result will be a number we're going to have 2 multiplied by minus 3 this is negative 6 so let's write here negative 6 plus 2 multiplied by a that is 16 plus negative 3 multiplied by 2 that is again negative 6 this is the matrix of course you are going to obtain just one number so the answer will be negative 6 plus negative 6 is, this is negative 12 plus 16 this is 4 so will be the matrix whose unique element is number 4 it's a matrix with only one element so when you multiply a row vector by a column vector you obtain always a number or better a matrix with only one component a one by one matrix let's make another example just another example mind that we have this row matrix or row vector that multiply this D, that is another another vector but this is now a column vector first the row second the column and this is the way that is defined the multiplication row by columns and if you are if you are going to multiply C by D then what you need to do is multiply 1 by negative 0 3 the first of the element in each of the matrix or the vectors plus negative 2 multiplied by 2 plus negative 3 multiplied by this 0 that is the third element plus the product of the fourth element so 0 0.5 multiplied by 1.2 and remember you need to add all this product because you at the end need to obtain just a number so here will be 1 multiply by minus 0 0.3 this will be a minus 0 0.3 so I'm going to open the bracket and this is this will be negative 0 0.3 this will be negative 2 times 2 this is negative 4 this is negative 3 times 0 this is 0 and finally 0 0.5 multiplied by 1.2 that is 0 0.6 use your calculator or solve make this operation negative 0 0.3 plus 0, 6 is negative 0 point, it's 0 0.3 minus 4 is negative 3.7 so the answer will be negative 3.7 so it will be a matrix with only one element 
So that's the way that you make a multiplication of a row vector by a column vector. Or I can say a row matrix by a column matrix. What will be the general case, the more general case, when we have actually two matrices? Let's see this situation now. If we have a matrix like this, A, this in this case is a matrix whose size is two is three by two. It has three rows, two columns. And I'm going to multiply this by this matrix that is a two by two matrix. Two row, two columns. So we have that A is a three by two matrix and B is a two by two matrix. If that is the case, the product is possible. We are going to see that the product needs to be in such a way that the number of columns in the first matrix need to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. So these two numbers need to be equal. If that is the case, the product is possible. So no, it's not always possible, the product of matrices. In the same way that was not possible, the sum of the matrix, they need to be of the same size, remember. Now, to be possible the product, this condition is necessary. The number of columns of the first matrix need to be the same number of rows of the second matrix. The other numbers, for example, the number of rows of the first matrix, this three, and this number of columns of the second matrix is going to determine the size of the product. We are going to see that the product will be a three by two matrix. So these two numbers tell me the size of the product, the size of the matrix AB. When we solve AB, what we are going to do is multiply every row of the first matrix by every column of the second matrix. But in order, first, the first row multiplied by the first column. So I'm going to open a bracket because the answer will be a matrix and I'm going to multiply first row, first column. So two, four, two, zero. This is the first row of the first matrix. This is the first column of the second matrix. And that will give me the first element, the first entry, the entries in the position first row, first column. If I multiply first row, second column will be the, the element of the entry in the product that is in the first row, second column. So the row give me the row of the product and the column of the second metric give me the column of the element in, this, in, the, in the matrix product. So two, four multiplied by one, three will be the element that is here. So I need to multiply a row vector by a column vector that was what we were doing previously. So we know how to do that. We know how to multiply a row vector by a column vector. Okay, so let's work in the second row. So you will, we are going to take the second row of the first metric multiplied by each of the column of the second matrix. Let's see, minus five, two, multiply this two zero and this minus five, two, multiply one, three, and give me the second element in this row. And you will notice why it's necessary that the number of columns of the first metric need to be the number of, equal to the number of rows on the second matrix, in order that these two, row and column, be of the same size. So we need that the row of the first matrix has the same size of the column of the second matrix. For that reason, the number of columns need to be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix. And why that give me the answer, the three, two that I tell you? Because at the end, I'm going to use all the rows of the first matrix, so I'm going to use this one zero, and that will appear in the third row of that matrix, of the matrix product. So it will be one zero multiplied by two zero. So we have here one zero 
two zero. And then at the end we have one zero multiplied by one three. And in this moment, we are done. We have finished with all the products possible between row vectors of the first matrix and column vector of the second matrix. And close the bracket indicating that we have a matrix. Okay, so now we need to make this product. We know what to do to make a product of row vector and a column vector. You just multiply the elements one by one and put that class in between them. For example, let's do it this here in a scrap paper. It will be 2, 4 multiplied by 2, 0. I need to multiply 2 by 2 plus 4 by 0. So 2 times 2 is 4 and this is 0. So the answer here is 4. So here as the first entry I'm going to type number 4. Here of the second entry will be 2, 4 times 1, 3. Let's do it here. 2, 4 times 1, 3. It will be 2 times 1 plus 4 times 3. And this is 2, this is 12, this is 14. So the element that is here is the element 14. Minus 5 multiplied 2, this will be minus 10. And this is 2 times 0. This is 0, so it will be minus 10 plus 0. This is minus 10. So let's type here minus 10. We have now that we need to multiply this row vector by this column vector. Minus 5 times 1 is minus 5. And 2 plus 2 times 3 is 6. So it will be minus 5 plus 6. This is number 1. And we have here this row times this column. It will be 1 times 2 is 2 plus 0. So this will be 2. And here we have 1 times 1 is 1 plus 0 times 3. So 1 plus 0. So we have 1. And this is the matrix. This, the, the, the answer is a matrix. It's a 3 by 2 matrix that we have here. But we notice something. When we multiply this matrix, we could do it because the, mat the product was A times B. A, B. So this two was equal to this two. The number of columns of the first matrix was equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. However, if we multiply B times A, so we type B first and then A, then you will notice that the number of columns of the first matrix will be two. So B will be the first matrix. And the second matrix, the number of rows of the second matrix will be 3. And so the product B, A cannot be done. So A, B is possible, but B, A is not possible in this case. So we notice then that matrix multiplication is not a commutative operation. So it's not the same as in numbers. We multiply two numbers, 5 times 3. This is the same of 3 times 5. But if we have matrix, the product is not necessarily commutative. If we change the order, the order, changing the order, you are changing the result. In many cases, you are going to change the result of the product. Let's see another example. We have here two matrices, B, that is a 2 by 3 matrix, and we have another matrix, C, that is a 3 by 2 matrix. So we have, and we want to compute the product BC. So again, we notice here that B is a 2 by 3 matrix and C is a 3 by 2. In this case, it's possible to multiply B times C, yeah? Because I notice that this 3 is equal to this 3. The number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. And I noted that the result will be a 2 by 2 matrix. So these two numbers tell me the product, what is the size of the product. So the product will be a 2 by 2. And how is going to be made this matrix? So we need to multiply this first row, first column, first row, second column. So the answer will be like this. You will notice, you can review that. This is well done. So again, first row, first column, first row of the first matrix, second column of the second matrix, second row of the first matrix, this is the 
first column of the second matrix. This is second row of the first matrix multiplied by the second, the second matrix we have done. So these are the products that we are going to do. And you are going to do this product easily. This will be one. And this, for example, this is two by two is four. Zero by one is zero. One by zero is zero. So this number here will be four. In this, here will be one times zero is zero. Zero times minus two is zero. One times one is one. So anyway, so you can continue. You can do it by yourself and you will notice that the answer will be like this. One, four, one, two. So two by two matrix. In this case, you will notice that if you multiply C by B, it's also possible. If somebody asks you, what is C by B? This is a product that you can do. Yes, because if you act to C by B, C is a three by two matrix, a three rows, two columns, and B is a two by three matrix. Again, the two numbers are equal in the center. Yeah? So the number of column of the first matrix is equal to the number of row of the second matrix. But now the result will be a three by three matrix. If you make this operation, the answer will be different because now it will be a three by three matrix. So CB will be, let's see, get the first row, first column. Now the first row will be this because I, as I multiply C by B. So it will be 0, 2 multiplied by 2, 1. 0, 2 multiplied by 0, 0. 0, 2 multiplied by 1, 1. To, first, to make the first row. And obviously to make the whole product will be this. The whole product will be this. And this will be the answer. So you can check that I have made all the possible products between row of the first matrix and columns of the second matrix taking into account or considering C as the first matrix because the product is C, B, and B, the second matrix. So please do all this product, check all this product. For example, the first one for sure will be zero plus two. So this product zero times two, C two times one. And this will be two, for example. Or for example, in the second one will be zero because it will be zero times zero plus two times zero. The third will be 0 times 1 plus 2 times 1, this will be 2, etc. Make all this product and you will notice that the answer will be this. So CB is a 3 by 3 matrix. And from the beginning I noted that was the case because this was the numbers, the number of rows in the first metri in the first matrix and the number of columns of the second matrix. This is CB, but BC was different. Remember that BC was made before, and BC was 1, 4, 1, 2. So BC was a 2 by 2 matrix. CB is a 3 by 3 matrix. So CB and BC are not necessarily the same. So in this case, are different. When you change the order, you change also the result of the product when you are speaking about matrices. In many cases, there are some cases when the changing the order of the matrices doesn't change the product. But in general, they are not the same. So we can conclude that matrix multiplication is not a commutative operation. It's not like numbers multiplication. When you have two numbers, you can change the order and the answer will be the same. In this case, no. Okay, you will notice that the matrix multiplication involves a lot of operations, so uh, it involves a lot of work because you will need to be making a lot, several multiplications and additions. So that means that it's a lot of work. Usually, when making matrix multiplication, we use software. We can do it in Excel, we can use R or other software. In other videos, I explain how to make a matrix multiplication using Excel and how to make matrix multiplication using R. Okay, for now, thank you and see you in another video.